Okay, this set of training videos is going to look at Snagit. This is Russell Stannard from www.teachertrainingvideos.com. People that know me know that I'm a huge, great fan of screen capture, and screen capture is the idea that we can record the screen of our computer. And before I start, I just want to give you a couple of examples of why this idea is so powerful. Snagit's here at the top of the screen, and I can simply click on video, and I can just mark out an area on the screen and then I simply click on this record button here and basically from now on anything that happens in this part of the screen here and including my voice is all being recorded now Snagit doesn't care what you do on the screen so if I was to open up one of my folders or to open up a picture or to open up a video onto the screen then that would also come out in the uh, into the actual uh, in the videos you can see it makes no difference and if we stop that now and was to just quickly play that back so let me just close that and just move it along sort of if I just play it back very quickly the screen here and including my voice is all being recorded now Snagit doesn't care what you do on the screen so if I was to open up one of my folders or to open up a picture or to open up a video onto the screen then that would also come out in the uh, into the actual uh, in the videos you can see so that's the first thing you really need to understand you can record anything that's on your screen and the results of that for teaching are phenomenal and I'm going to show you in the next video why so why is that so powerful let me just give you an, a couple of ideas let's imagine you're a teacher you've been teaching a class today and you've noticed that some of the students had problems with their vocabulary and with the pronunciation of these words you could go home you could write out the words you could open up snag it and you could do a quick video of yourself just going through the vocabulary so you can use this idea to give feedback to your students I click on the record button and I would just start now to go through okay students just want to go through some of the problems in today's lesson uh, the first word accommodation accommodation the stress is on the fourth syllable second word that you had problems with corruption corruption the stress is on the second sy syllable next one photography 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 the stress is on the second syllable etc etc I make the recording the recording is done and now I can share that with my students let's just check if it worked okay students just want to go through some of the problems in today's lesson uh really simple way of giving feedback to students now when I ch take you through Camta um, through Snagit sorry I will show you all these different buttons here how we can share the video with the students how we can upload it onto YouTube we can save it in our Google Drive there are loads and loads of ways to use Snagit let me show you a second example let's take a second example imagine you've been given an essay from your students and you want to give them feedback on it now you might read the essay and mark some of the things that you want to talk about in the essay so you would normally read through the essay first and I'm just doing this very quickly and then mark the things that you want to talk about then you would open up snag it and you don't necessarily need to open up a large area of the screen you can scroll so I'm going to sort of open up this area here and now what I could do is record myself giving feedback to the student on their work and then I can send them the video so I'm just going to click on this button here okay Stevie I just want to give you a couple of uh, bits of feedback on your essay generally I'm, I'm quite happy with it but just want to point this first thing out um, here you sort of talk about um, the number of teachers that are incorporating blogging into their teaching and learning. I just wondered if you could actually give me a, a statistic on this. You say it's limited, but I'd be very interested in knowing if you've got any statistics about that. Just scrolling down here, um, when you say some of the students, again, you're being rather vague here. I'd really like to know exactly how many students worked on this idea of developing their blogs and developing an audience for them. Okay, so you get the idea. I could do this recording and now I could just check it again. I just want to give you a couple of... Uh, and I can now save that and send it to my students. I could either upload it onto YouTube. I could just save a copy and send it to them directly. I could upload it into Moodle, etc. So there's loads of ways that the teacher could use this. You could make, a, a, for example, a screencast of an interesting website that you want your students to look at, to look at. There's so many ways that you could use this tool. It really has a lot of potential.
but of course you don't have to just limit the students to using screen capture you can get the sorry the teacher to using screen capture you can get the students to use it so imagine you're a student and you were learning a language and you were asked to describe a picture so for example I've got this picture here that I took of Stamford Bridge and I'm just going to uh, open it up and then I'm just going to click on the button and start talking so again it could be me practicing English French or Spanish hi this is a picture of uh, Stamford Bridge and uh, I'm a season ticket holder at Chelsea so uh, I quite often go to Stamford Bridge my first visit to Stamford Bridge was many years ago blah 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 so I can do the recording and then once I've uh, finished doing the recording then I can stop it and um, click on that button here the videos done and now I could send that to my teacher okay hi this is a picture of uh, Stamford Bridge are great for practicing French, English, Spanish. It could be anything. It could be a presentation. It could be a PowerPoint that the students are recording. There's just so much potential for using a tool like Snagit. So let's get in. Let's have a look, look where you can get Snagit and how you can uh, then use it. Uh, this is a, just an introductory set of videos to get you up and running basically with the tool. I've just written snag it free download into Google because we're going to look for the download and you can get it from the TechSmith site. Snag it is a TechSmith product. Now you can download it for free for two weeks. I have to make a point here. Snag it is not free. It costs about £20, about $30 for the educational version. Now it's very rare for me to recommend that you pay for a tool obviously it's something you can speak about with your institution or your director but I really would say once you've seen these videos and you realize the potential of Snagit just why it's worth spending the money on this tool just one other thing because people often ask me what are the advantages over Jing well there are several key advantages but one of them is simply the way it integrates with other products you can also make much longer videos when you use Snagit I don't think there's actually a limit in the length of the videos that you produce and also and very importantly you can download the videos they are, you can either share them or you can download them so Snagit is a great tool and you can download and trial it for 15 days just click on this button here you need to put your email address in and then once you've got Snagit on your computer you've got 15 days to practice it before you decide if you want to buy it now obviously what you need to buy is the educational version of Snagit now as you can see I've got um, snag it here at the top of the screen if it doesn't appear at the top of the screen when you f uh, first download it simply go to your programs now I'm using uh, Windows uh, the latest version of Windows and uh, what I have to do is kind of scroll along and find my program and here it is and I would just click on it and that should open it up activate it and make sure then it appears at the top of the screen because sometimes it doesn't initially appear at the top of the screen and you just have to kind of set that up one of the nice things as well about this is that you can actually kind of move your snag it um, if you want to for example put it here on the side it will then start working on the side or again on this side so you can shift it around to a place where it won't get in the way actually often that's quite a good place to put it um, at the moment just for the sake of uh, our presentations I'm going to put it at the top of the screen okay so that's a little bit about getting Snagit set up let's get in then and start to look at how to make a video with Snagit okay so let's just look at the basic functionality now it's got image capture as well but today we're concentrating on video capture only so I'm going to cl click on there and this is just an introductory set of videos I can mark out an area now I won't mark, mark out an area that's too big always limit the area that you're going to mark to make sure that it's not bigger than you need because of course the bigger it is the more video space you're using make sure also that you've chosen the correct microphone now stereo mix is if you want to record both your voice but also something that is playing on the computer so you have that option which is actually what I'm using at the moment when I'm doing the presentations with you so that you can hear the recordings obviously the tool that I'm using at the moment is Camtasia it's a more sophisticated version of Snagit but Snagit for a teacher doing some basic recordings 
recordings and uh, flip classroom etc it's adequate so I'm going to choose the internal microphone it tells me the size of the screen and I simply click on that button there and it starts to record my voice it counts me in and I can start to do my recording as you can see and then obviously anything I do on the screen anything I open it doesn't matter it'll all be recorded so I'm not restricted to just what's on the screen at the moment if I for example click on something and open up another page that will come out in the recording if I opened up a picture that would come out in the recording click on the stop button it takes a few a while and it basically brings it into this simple editor and I can see all my recent recordings here at the bottom okay and I can simply click here and listen to that recording and check if I'm happy with it and I can start to do my recording as you can see and, it and it's as simple as that now let's have a quick look at the quickest ways of distributing that video now often what you want to do is have a physical copy of the recording that you can share with your students put on Moodle put on Blackboard put onto Blogger whatever and to do that just simply click on once you've made your record calling just simply click on file come down to save as and choose standard format it will be recorded as an MP MPEG 4 now I'm going to click on that button now and then I'm going to save that onto my desktop okay I'm going to give it a name we'll call it test snagit one and I'm just going to save that now let's have a look at the result of that so let me just minimize the editor come back onto my screen there is the video and if I click on that button because that's an MP for MPEG 4 file it will play straight and away in videos windows do my recording as you can see and then obviously anything I do on the screen and that is it as simple as that and now you've got a physical copy of that recording let's take another scenario we're going to just open up um, a screen capture tool snag it again just going to mark a quick area on the screen do a very quick video and again clicking on the button here make sure of course that you've chosen the right sound choice so I'm using the internal mic click on the button there and do your recording just a couple of seconds blah 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 stop the recording remember you can always pause if you want to do that but I'm going to stop it the video is made immediately I can just check that it's okay okay it's always added to this kind of this board here at the bottom and we'll talk about that a bit later uh, stop the recording remember you can always okay so that's fine now what about if I wanted to share it on YouTube rather than me downloading a physical copy I could click here on the YouTube button and what it's going to do is I'll click on send to YouTube and what it's going to do it's going to ask me well hang on what account do you want to use and um, I will need to sign in now I've already signed in so it kind of knows who I am but you will just now what what is important to understand is when you use your YouTube account all it needs is your Google email account address and your password and then it will link immediately there's nothing else for you to do so I'm gonna click on this one here because I'm gonna use this one and then basically now asking me what do, do I accept these terms and I'm say yes I do and that is it now it will upload that video I can rename it so if I want to call this for example I don't know um, test video through test video snag it and I can put it in a category and what I can also ask in is copy to clipboard because what it will do is once it's uploaded it will immediately send you the link to that uh, YouTube video and it will as if you've copied and pasted it so this is absolutely brilliant so click on that one or you can have the HTML embed code but I'm gonna do the URL I'm gonna make this public this is really important let me just to emphasize what happens once the video is uploaded Camtasia or Snagit will send you back uh, the link will send you the link and it was as if you've copied and pasted it sorry about that it's as if you've copied and pasted it into your screen watch this let me just show you how it works so it up uploads and it's doing that now and it's uploading it onto my YouTube account see here it's told me it's now copied it to my pay, uh, my clipboard what's your clipboard well your clipboard is when you copy and paste something so let me open up a browser a minute and just paste in that URL as I said it's been copied into my clipboard just like when you copy something in Word or something I'm just gonna now just click here and paste in watch this control V just paste in and it will go straight to that YouTube video okay just one one second straight to that YouTube video 
and that's my YouTube channel and there it is and there's the video and there it is playing back simple as that absolutely fabulous way of working with YouTube now if you want to look at all the videos that you've uploaded if you do lots and lots of videos and you use this as a way just click on your video manager once you're logged in and you'll see a list of all the videos and I've been doing some tests here using Snagit and you can click on this button here and do things like for example if you want to delete the video or uh, add some extra information about the video if you want to uh, put some better titles etc etc now this isn't a set of training videos about YouTube it's just a very uh, quickly point out to you just how easy it is to link to your YouTube channel and for you to add videos up um, really really easy way of sharing and having a video channel for your stuff at school with your uh, students etc and so we just remember you can click on the video manager and then go to any of your videos that you've uploaded look at here and you've got things like settings and you can look on the settings for example and uh, change various settings for the particular video that you've got uh, you can come down here and look at some of the settings, add tags, um, put a comment, a description for the video, etc, etc. So that's really up to you to, to kind of have a look at it in more detail. But absolutely fabulous way of linking your screencast and making use of your Google, free Google YouTube channel. Now I want to keep these to an absolute minimum these videos that I'm just introducing you the very basics of Snagit but a couple of things one thing if you want to um, I think if you just grab I have to do this right hang on a minute if I just grab this little one here and for some reason because that's on there I'm not sure let me just get rid of that I think it's just giving me a bit of guidance if I just grab this here this side I can move out and if I wanted to say cut this area I can simply click on cut and that area would now be cut out of the video so you can do some really basic editing and of course you could move the playhead to the other end and do exactly this the same the other end if, if you've got a certain section that you wanted to cut out the video you can do that now one other thing obviously the recordings the recent recordings are shown here at the bottom but if you ever want to see all your recordings that you've made just go to the library and you've got images because you can also use Snagit for images but you can go to your videos and you've got all your videos here now of course what you can then start to do is if you've got videos that you don't like or you don't want to use then of course you can delete those videos simply just click on the delete button and it will delete this file and you can actually delete the put any files you want now I'm not going to do any more with uh, Snagit in this introductory videos that would be enough to get you up and running and using Snagit you know how to save on YouTube you know how to save a physical copy of the recordings if you want to do that and you know a little bit about how to do a recording how to set your sound where the uh, where all the videos are kept and you can use this editor there will be a second set of videos that will show you in much more detail how to use uh, Snagit for video and there will also be a set about how to use Snagit for images if you found those videos useful then please come to teachertrainingvideos.com and make use of the videos you can subscribe to the newsletter if you want to there's about 20,000 people to subscribe to that if you close the window there I suggest you look under the section if you're looking for more um, stuff on using Snagit look under screencasting or simply write Snagit into the search window and you will find a whole list of different additional videos that are there to show you how to use Snagit and of course please make use of all the other videos that are on the website thank you very much